Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the One Sample T-Test tool found within Sigma Excel. The One Sample T-Test is one of the most widely used statistical tests, allowing you to compare a sample mean to a reference standard. To begin, I'll be using a sample data set called Customer Data, which contains overall satisfaction survey data scores using a Likert scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being very dissatisfied and 5 being very satisfied. Survey results were averaged to obtain non-integer results. Click Sigma Excel, Statistical Tools, One Sample T-Test and Confidence Intervals. Ensure that stack column format is selected. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Select Customer Type and click Optional Group Category X. Historically, our long-term average customer satisfaction score has been 3.5. We would like to see if this has changed with the results grouped by customer type. Enter 3.5 for the null hypothesis mean value. Set the alternative hypothesis to not equal to and confidence level to 95%. Check Display Test Assumptions Report. Click OK. Note the p-values. With the p-value less than 0.05, customer type 2 shows a significant change in satisfaction mean. This means an increase of the mean satisfaction score, whereas customer types 1 and 3 show no change, with p-values greater than or equal to 0.05. Our mean satisfaction scores for customer types 1 and 3 are not demonstrating a significant difference from the null hypothesis of 3.5. This analysis also includes the One Sample T-Test Assumptions Report. This is a text report with color highlights, whereas green is OK, yellow is a warning, and red is a serious violation. Each sample is tested for normality using the Anderson-Darling test. If not normal, the minimum sample size for robustness of the One Sample T-Test is determined using Monte Carlo regression equations. If the sample size is inadequate, a warning is given, and a suitable non-parametric test is recommended. Will Coxon if symmetric, and Sign if not symmetric. Here, a warning is given for customer type 2, with the assumption that normality has been violated. However, with a sample size of 42, which far exceeds the minimum sample size for a robust t-test of 22, our t-test is robust to non-normality. Each sample is tested for potential, likely, and extreme outliers. If outliers are present, a warning is given. We can see here that customer type 2 has been flagged for a potential outlier, and it should be investigated. We recommend investigating with tools such as box plots, normal probability plots, histograms, run charts, control charts, and you may want to consider using a non-parametric test. For further information regarding outliers, see the appendix section titled Hypothesis Test Assumptions Report in the Sigma Excel workbook. Each sample is also tested for randomness using the exact non-parametric runs test. If the sample data is not random, a warning is given with a recommendation to review the data with a run chart. In addition to the menu-driven one sample t-test, Sigma Excel also provides a statistical template for a one sample t-test that uses summary statistics, which I will also be demonstrating in this video. The one sample t-test template can be found by clicking Templates and Calculators, Basic Statistical Templates, One Sample t-test and Confidence Interval for Mean. We will be using the summary statistics for customer type 2 for overall satisfaction. Our sample size for customer type 2 was 42. Enter 42 for n. 4.205 was our sample mean, with a standard deviation of 0.6212. The null hypothesis was 3.5, and our alternative hypothesis was not equal to. 
Our results closely match the results given for customer type 2 in the menu-driven one-sample t-test, with slight variation due to rounding. Here, we can clearly see a rejection of the null hypothesis of 3.5, and we can conclude that the alternative hypothesis is true at 95% confidence level. This concludes the Sigma Excel tutorial video for one sample t-test. For more videos, visit us at sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.